So I just got past Bonita Beach. And feels like my phone's ringing. Let's see. Uh, don't know the number. Sorry. Just got past Bonita Beach. I just uh, pulled over here in this uh, random spot. And as you can see, it's, it's uh, pretty remote. Right over there, the direction you're looking is where the uh, ocean is. So yeah, I'll be riding right along it for a good portion of this ride. So let me get the wheel out and get going. All right, let's go. It's a good thing it's windy, because it's hot as hell again. So that hopefully will help negate it a little bit. There are some um, mixed in clouds here, so it makes it a little more tolerable. So yeah, a lot of this road here is just like this. It's a two-lane road with a nice wide shoulder. I don't know if this is technically a bike lane, but uh, it's wider than most bike lanes, so I like it. I'm bummed out, I actually have my Apple Watch on today, but as you can see, it's still going through the setup routine. I was hoping to, to um, connect it with my phone and then get Darkness Bot working. Um, but, you know, I blew away the, the uh, watch. So the, the setup process, unfortunately, takes a long ass time and it's still setting up, so. No Darkness Bot connectivity yet, but it's coming. Oh wow, people are launching their boats right there. That doesn't look like a real boat ramp, but. They are launching. As I drove up here, I saw all of the conventional public access uh, areas still uh, blocked off, roped off. Oh wow, look at this, it's, it's a hill. Wow, it's actually the bridge. If, I, if I'm, uh, I haven't been this way in a little while, but um, I believe this is the bridge right before um, the dog beach, the Benita dog beach, they actually have a beach that uh, is dog friendly, that people take their dogs to. And uh, I've been there a number of times. Unfortunately, a lot of those people um, aren't real diligent in picking up their dog shit. <laughs> so like uh, we used to have problems when we would take uh, our dogs here sometimes they would. <laughs> you see that? Wow, glad I got that on film. Freaking idiot Mercedes driver. Um, they take their dogs here and uh, they don't pick up their dog shit. And um, as a result, uh, I remember uh, more than once, Nikki, uh, our old black lab, would wind up with uh, uh, urinary tract infections after visiting the dog beach because the water was kind of gross. All right, let's see how the MSX does climbing the bridge. New pass, it's called. Not much lane right here, but luckily there's, the cars behind me are a little far off, so I think I got a little bit of time to cross this bridge. Getting hit by blowing sand, it's always a good time. Lady was sunbathing on the uh, top of the bridge in the sidewalk area. All right, so right there, the direction that you're facing, that's where you typically park for the dog beach. Uh, that is obviously closed. Uh, this side evidently is open. <laughs> People are parked over there. Over on my right here, that's like the inlet. Yeah, that's not that's not the ocean per se. It's kind of more the bay, I guess you would call it maybe. That is not the ocean side. All right, so let's continue. One thing I have been eyeing up is um, the area around this road looks pretty wide open other than those uh, power lines over there, power poles. And I do have my Skydio with. People seem to uh, really enjoy the, the mixing, mixing in of aerial footage in my video from yesterday. So I'm gonna try to uh, get the Skydio up in the air at some point and see how that goes. Looks like it should be good other than the uh, very windy conditions. up on Lover's Key State Park. I, I'm assuming that this is closed off as well, but 
because it seems like all the state parks are closed. Okay, right over there is the ocean side. Yeah, gates closed there. Over here is parking on the right for it as well, and that appears to be uh, closed too. Now it looks like my watch just got done updating, so I might want to see if I can quickly figure out how to get a darkness spot working here. So let me just pull over here. I'll go behind the cones, but I'm not I'm not violating the law here, people. But let's see if I can get darkness spot working on my watch quickly. Oh well, I tried to bring up the app store on the watch. It just was sitting and spinning, so. I'm not going to sit out here and roast my ass off. I'll uh, set it up at home and uh, try it out next time. But I do have Darkness Spot running on my phone at least, just to track stuff, you know? So um, I was thinking about trying to take this all the way into Fort Myers Beach. I'm not really sure distance-wise. I mean, batter, uh, the, the MSX has plenty of battery to, to do that and more, uh, but I am not quite sure how far it is, so we'll see. Play it by ear. We're into a very st steep hip headwind right here. Very steep, and we're going uphill. And another bridge. And it looks like it's a drawbridge. Hey! So, uh, let's see if we can stay in this little lane here. I think I can. Hopefully there's no substantial debris in it. I don't know that you're supposed to be fishing off the bridge, but oh well. All right. Yeah, this is rough, man. I'm getting blown around in my little narrow lane, and I have a car behind me. Whoa. And we got a grate right here. All right. I'm really getting blown around. I'm going to step off right here. Stepping off. Well, oh, no, I'm not. All right. I thought this might be a little crazy. All right, we got lots of stones in the road here. Holy crap. Yeah, this is bad, man. A crosswind. Not unexpected, but it's, it's blowing me in the exact wrong direction. Ay, 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 ay. Hell, I might, I might be walking it back across. This feels a little bit dangerous to me. All right, we're off, thank God. Oof. That bridge was not fun. Not at all. And we have no bike lane here, I see, okay. Yeah, this is actually Fort Myers Beach, all right. So the good thing is, is I think I can, I can ride the speed limit on the, oh, on the MSX. But it is so freaking windy this way. Oh my God. All right, so th this is Fort Myers Beach. So it was not that far. So it's just a matter of if I want to go to the, uh, all the way to the bridge or not. This kind of sucks because you got construction going on. No conventional bike lane, but I am able to go as fast as the speed limit, I believe. So that's a good thing. A whole lot going on here. Um, when this place is normal, uh, traffic is uh, usually uh, at a snail's pace all the way into into town. Right now, we just have a few scattered vehicles. You see one behind me. Not much going on. Last time Cindy and I were up here, we see that big American flag. I believe. Yeah, there's like a restaurant hotel there. Um, that's where they had the, um, the Sandcastle, Sand Sculpture Championship event thing, I think. Pretty sure that's it. And that's, um, that's also where I've played a, uh, a number of volleyball tournaments over the years when I used to be playing uh, beach volleyball twos. Uh, that's, where it, that's where they would hold the tournaments in Fort Myers. Yep, at the Wyndham, and it looks... It looks closed, actually. Wow. I wonder if they close all, like, beachside hotels. That looked closed. All right, speed limit is 25. I should be just fine. Whew, got some bumps going on here. Let's see, I guess we're gonna just, I guess I'll just stay out in the main lane of traffic. Because it doesn't look like very good riding over there, does it? 
got some fresh asphalt here, but it's kind of hiding a few uh, a few uh, bumps and ridges in the road. So I have my knees in flex position. This is as ready as I get. All right, we're back onto the regular road. Wasn't filming, but a uh, bump just snuck up on me there. I was not in ready position. And uh, it felt dangerous. I'll try to be more ready. Yeah, this, this shit's a mess, man. It's a mess. Not ideal. Not the best time to be up here. Other than the light traffic, that's nice. Uh, but otherwise, no, not, not great. Uneven lanes. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, I, oh boy. Yeah, this stuff is all looking more familiar. I think we've gotten like ice cream around this area at one time. Oh, got some nice new sidewalk right here. I just rode through there, there's a flagman there. The guy facing me had it set to stop. And I guess because I'm on an electric, like a unicycle, he figured I could just slide by and he waved me through. But as I'm going by the other, the other uh, construction workers, I heard some guy say, hey, don't stop your stop sign, jackass. Just can't win, man. Can't win. Whoa, that's a nice bump. Glad I saw that one. Oh shit, look at the, look at the road on that side. That's bricks. We definitely don't want to be riding on that. Wow. I'm trying to figure out the plan here. I'm wondering if, if they're just trying to make this like two lanes both ways instead of one. I'm not quite sure what the plan is here. A little confused. Way to stop from the stop sign, jackass. All right, this section here does have a proper bike lane. So we will utilize it. I guess this is the part that was done already. I, I assuming the brick, the brick is supposed to be the middle turning lane. That's what it looks like. But I guess they just haven't finished widening the road down in that section. So yeah, it should be fun going back. And I hardly wait. All right, so my goal is to try to go over the bridge. There's a really high bridge here that I did a 5K across once or twice. Um, I wanted to see if I could do that. It, there's a turn right before the bridge. Um, there's like docks there. I remember uh, one time I took a casino boat uh, with my ex-wife out of uh, that area. So yeah, I have not been this, this way very long or very often. But let's see if we can get to the bridge and then I will turn around. If I can cross the bridge safely. If there's like no, no space in the side, I'm just gonna say screw it and turn around. This crosswind smacking me again. I don't know how much further I have to go to this bridge. I don't, I don't, uh, it's a while yet. I don't, I think I've had enough of this direction and enough of fighting this wind. And enough of old people behind the wheel. Yeah, I think we're gonna turn around up here. Far enough. go other way so now the wind can smack me from the right instead of the left I, I have no idea how far I've gone so far based on uh, my feet uh, not bad decent amount it feels like my wrist is vibrating all right we're back into the active construction zone awesome Gonna try to keep up with traffic and see if we can. All right, here we go under the bricks. See if we can uh, piss off some more flagmen. We'll see. Probably can. It's always fun to piss off flagmen, right? But they are essential workers. Oh man, yeah, this is this is bumpy as shit. bumpy all these uh, sewer grates oh wow that 
definitely want to stay away from those seams in the middle. That could be bad. That definitely could be bad. Want to avoid the seam. Oh man, this is freaking bumpy as shit. I'm just gonna keep it rolling, man. Keep it rolling. Suspension would be nice. In motion, King Song. It would be nice. I'll test it for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah. Old legs are getting a workout. I cut over to the right if I could do so without hitting this damn this damn seam. All right, we're just gonna cross the seam. All right, it's like crossing the streams. I just crossed the seam. Whew. All right, still chugging along here. Just trying to make sure that I am braced for impact where necessary. Oh, boy. okay, now we just spun back into a ferocious headwind. Got a car behind me. I think we'll try to pass right here. Which is fine. Although I am going the speed limit, I'm pretty sure. These gusts are like ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. My feet are burning like I've already done 20 miles. I'm not sure. I might uh, stop at the bridge and uh, take a look and see where we're at. This ride has been a little intense, for me, at least. You gotta stay on top of your toes at all times. You might be able to see the ocean briefly in between the uh, condos, maybe. Oh shit, I'm back to this, I'm back to this uh, bridge already. I, I guess the flagman must have stepped away. Maybe they're on their lunch break because I didn't have any more flagman encounters. I was kind of looking forward to it, to be honest with you. All right, so uh, at least the wind is blowing me this way, so I feel better about it, because I got room that way. And I've had the same Toyota Corolla behind me for like, whoa, well, I feel, that did not feel good. Uh, I had the same Toyota Corolla behind me for the last uh, 15 minutes, I think, so I must be going fast enough to, uh, suit him. But once we get off this bridge, uh, I think the rest of the ride is uh, less stressful. No more construction at least. All right. Stopping to rest my feet a little bit, man. My feet are hurting. Um, max speed, 31.8 miles an hour so far. So I was carrying some good speed there through Fort Myers Beach. So far it says I've gone 13 and a half miles. Uh, battery at 58%, so yeah, should be good. So we're gonna be pushing for the truck and then uh, get the Scottio in the air for a little bit. Maybe my feet are just burning a lot just because I rode yesterday as well, maybe, I don't know, and ran this morning. Did I mention I ran this morning? I don't remember. Yeah, I, I went out to the track and did another uh, 12 laps this morning, so. Feet are not very happy today, but I can't say that my feet have ever been very happy riding EUCs. This wind, when you hit the bridges, man, oh man. It is just smacking you around, man. Big time. This is hitting this. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is hitting me more in the face this time. Instead of from the sides, so I guess it's better, but it's still not a good time. Not sure how well it shows up on film. Hey, water. That's what water looks like. Not 
Dodge River. You can see that behind me, that one high pole. Looks like there's a nest on top of it. That's because there is. Um, sometimes eagles goes in those, go in those nests. Sometimes I think osprey also use those, uh, those platforms as nests. It's a cool thing they do down here. Plenty of room for the Skydio on either side, so that's good. Nice clear area, no overhanging structures. Ideal, except for the wind. It's gonna be working hard to track me, that's for sure. All right, I'm back. So we're gonna shoot the Atro, although in reality, I'm gonna be going back out and shooting some drone footage, see how that turns out. That was an interesting ride. Uh, definitely challenging going through that construction area in Fort Myers Beach, not fun. And the extreme crosswind at a certain spots was uh, uh, hold on to your boots uh, kind of riding <laughs> as well, at least for me, you know, because I'm a no-skill zombie rider. So anyways, if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please think about subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that is over there somewhere. And uh, if you're one of the 87 or 88 percent of people last time I checked that are not subscribers but do enjoy my videos, think about subscribing. It'd be great. It'd be wonderful. So anyways, that's all I have for you for now. I uh, hope your Monday is uh, well, although it might not be as good as me because I have the day off, which is kind of nice. But that's it. Till next time, Duff Man out. Man, during some of that, that aerial footage, man, it was so freaking gusty. Um, I cannot believe the Skydio handled that. It did a great job. It really did. Kept me in frame. Amazing piece of technology.